Amatreya by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. Bulkley, Hunt, Willard, Hosmer, Merriam, Flint, possess the land which rendered to their toil hay, corn, roots, hemp, flax, apples, wool, and wood. Each of these landlords walked amid his farm, saying, "'Tis mine, my children's, and my names. How sweet the west wind sounds in my own trees! How graceful climb those shadows on my hill! I fancy these pure waters, and the flags know me, as does my dog. We sympathize, and, I affirm, my actions smack of the soil." where are these men asleep beneath their grounds and strangers fond as they their furrows plough earth laughs in flowers to see her boastful boys earth proud proud of the earth which is not theirs who steer the plough but cannot steer their feet clear of the grave they added ridge to valley brook to pond and sighed for all that bounded their domain this suits me for a pasture that's my park we must have clay lime gravel granite ledge and misty lowland where to go for peat the land is well lies fairly to the south tis good when you have crossed the sea and back to find the sitfast acres where you left them ah the hot owner sees not death who adds him to his land a lump of mould the more hear what the earth says earth song mine and yours mine not yours earth endures stars abide shine down in the old sea old are the shores but where are old men i who have seen much such i have never seen the lawyer's deed ran sure in tale to them and to their heirs who shall succeed without fail for evermore here is the land shaggy with wood with its old valley mound and flood but the heritors fled like the flood's foam the lawyer and the laws and the kingdom clean swept herefrom they call me theirs who so controlled me yet every one wished to stay and is gone how am i theirs if they cannot hold me but i hold them when i heard the earth song I was no longer brave. My avarice cooled, like lust in the chill of the grave. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.